I am very stiff. I can barely move. I have a baby and I'm having a hard time picking him up and putting him back down, um, honestly. Really tense in here. Oh yeah, oh wow. Should I just hang out? There it is. Nice. Beautiful. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Bailey here at Lifespring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas, and I'm here with my good friend Sarah, who happens to be a badass DJ and a real estate agent here in Austin, Texas. So if you need some good vibes or a new house, please hit her up. We'll link her stuff below so you can check that out. Um, and then Sarah is in today because she's got some stuff going on on her SI joint in the low back. So I'll just kind of hand it over to her and let her talk about that for a minute. It hurts <laughs> really bad. I will tell you that. Um, I am very stiff if you uh, haven't noticed and that is for a reason. Um, I can barely move. Um, <laughs> and you, you had a you have a seven month old, correct? Yes, so I have a, a baby, one? and he, he's he's a he's a chunk, and I'm having a hard time picking him up and putting him back down. Um, honestly, it's a it's a it's a very it's a very bad problem. Um, so yeah, also um, normal movements have uh, been very hard, like sit standing up sitting down mm -hmm. um really picking anything up especially anything with weight but off of the ground if i can't like really bend over right now so yeah um and also kind of like moving to the left mm -hmm. um i can you know i just don't want to go further than that mm -hmm. yeah so. and then also something that we want to mention about sarah because this is really great thing about video and something that y'all may want to learn about is that she has harrington rods so what that is is that her spine is essentially fused from the full thoracic spine so top to bottom um, she has two rods on either one rod on either side and this is for correction of scoliosis so you want to tell them a little bit about that so, and why you had that done yeah um my back was literally like an s before um so i was kind of like a really weirdly like crooked tree and now i just have some support you know you've seen those like trees that kind of just need that's a, a great help. analogy <laughs> That's me. Um. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about scoliosis just for y'all out there. So when we're looking at the curves of the spine from the front, it should be nice and straight. Obviously this is not exactly because I have used this a lot. Um, and from the side, we should go forward, backward, forward again, okay? When we have scoliosis, it's an S shape or a C shape to the side. Yeah. For Mine Sarah, like, yeah. she said hers really was 70 bad. degrees on the top end. And it was like so, 65. On yeah, the, so 60. it was pretty extreme. When that happens, it actually impacts the neurologic function to the heart, lungs, brain, all of that good jazz. And when a curve is to the left in the thoracic, oh, sorry, the left in the thoracic spine, that has really big implications to heart function. So a lot of times people with curves to the left, over 20 degrees is what we would consider scoliosis those will be candidates for surgery and stuff like that. Mm. But when it's under 20 degrees, I mean, there's about half the population that has a minor curve that doesn't affect them too much, but it does create a lot of tension, tightness, and knots in the mid back. So if you're experiencing something like that, you may have some scoliosis that you don't know about, or you might just have really bad work posture. Um, so with Sarah, let's actually have you go ahead and lay face down and let's just see what's going on with your body. <clears throat> Okay. And you can pop your shoes off, yeah. All right. Should I move them? It doesn't matter. You can put them wherever you want. Sorry. I'll kick them out of the way okay. eventually anyways. All right. Oh. Perfect, yeah. So she's got short left leg there. You can see that pretty well. So we'll definitely key in on both of these hips. Yeah, I meant to say that I actually, uh, my, my right leg is longer than the other. Okay. Plop your and little then, mitts on this. Um, right and it there. wasn't Perfect. before. And then face straight down to the center. Beautiful. So feeling this hip. Yeah, there's like zero forward motion on this one. Mm -hmm. And this one's not coming back very well. So we'll check that too. No movement backwards. So we got this kind of cattywampus pelvis going on. Rocked mm -hmm. forward on the right and backward on the left, making those legs unequal coming up. So we won't be doing a whole lot of 
manual adjusting in the mid back because we've got some rods holding things together. So we're gonna do a lot of activator. And then in the neck, we can definitely, tender in there, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you can kind of see the scapula is winging up. Are you irritated under the scapula? Yes. Okay, so we'll adjust the ribs today too. And we'll also check the shoulder for her just to make sure everything's functioning the way that it should. Okay, so for Sarah today, because we do have those rods that we're working with, we're not gonna put her in side posture. We're actually gonna use the drop table so there's a lot less rotation and twisting that can endanger the hardware that you know supports her spine. So Sarah, could you scoot down on the table about an inch for me? Beautiful. Okay. That's perfect. So I'm gonna use the drop piece that's gonna pop up underneath your hips, okay? Like this. Okay. Whee! Oh. And then I'm gonna check the setting on it. I'm just gonna press on the table and let it drop and see what the tension is. So that's actually perfect for her. So I'm actually gonna stand on this side so I can get a better angle on this hip. And I'm just gonna support right here, Sarah, and press down on this side, okay? okay. There's one, let's go again. Need wow. A few more on that. There we go, one more, okay? Okay. There it is. And then we'll recheck the legs. And guess what, we're even, girl. Holy cow. Yeah. So just double check, feels so much better actually. Wow. I'm gonna give you one more on this right side. I'm really bad at right and left, y'all, in case anyone saw me check my right and left fingers there. Still beautiful, okay? Cool. Okay, we'll work our way up. I'm gonna find my activator that's hiding in the room somewhere. It's always an activator hunt. <laughs> it's like a scavenger hunt for chiropractors. <laughs> so that, we're gonna come on the side of that spinous process. There we go. And then we're coming up. Really tense in here. Oh yeah, oh wow. And then we're gonna do some work on these ribs for her. So I'm gonna trade sides with you, Claire. And then we'll be right in here. So we're gonna come up these ribs. So Sarah, I'm just gonna squeeze your ribs together. I want you to tell me if it feels better, worse, or the same, okay? Any change there? Do you think it feels better? Okay, cool. So we're gonna adjust inward on this side to support things. And on this side, we're coming down. Feel good to put pressure that direction? Yeah. Good. So we're gonna come through here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, I have chills. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know you needed it so bad, oh, did you? Oh, my God. Now, just looking at the scapulas, you can tell they're at different levels here. So we're gonna do a little bit of work on the scapula as well, okay? And then I'm also gonna come through this side of the ribs just to give some positive input into this joint. There we go. And then from right on the edge of that scap, we're gonna come up and in. Right here, one little click. There we go. Okay, beautiful. When you're ready, you can flip over onto your back for me. Ugh. Nice and easy. Perfect. And then scoot up towards me a bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check neck first and then we're gonna finish with that shoulder, okay? Okay. Well, I guess I'll finish with feet since your feet are out today too. <laughs> Just feeling it. Tender in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a bit. Do you typically hold a uh, phoenix on one side versus the other? Mm, I do rotate it a lot. Awesome. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> so we're just got one in the neck, C2 on this left side, okay? So I'm gonna count up to it. Right there where we're nice and sticky. We'll come this direction, just hang out. There it is. Nice. Beautiful. I'll sit you up a little bit. And then we're gonna get into that shoulder, okay? So I'll be on this side. I'm gonna borrow this hand from you. Palm straight in the air, open that palm. Don't let me push straight out towards the wall. What do you mean? Like, I'm gonna push, you don't let me resist. So I just go like this? No, I'm gonna push, you keep it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like that. Feel how it's a little bit shaky, but not bad? Yeah. Good, don't let me push up to that corner next. So that one's a little weaker. Can you yeah. feel that? Mm -hmm. Don't let me push down towards your feet. Is that one a little painful? Mm -hmm. Okay, punch up towards the ceiling. 
Good, drop it halfway back with just the shoulder. Keep the elbow straight and then make a fist and don't let me push down. That one's good. Bend the elbow, don't let me push down here. Good, okay. So <laughs> have a, you're so strong, Sarah. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the ribs on the front of your chest, okay? okay? We're gonna start on the sternal side. So I'm starting on this clavicle. Whee! And then ribs where they attach the sternum all the way down. We're doing this because the muscle test showed us weakness, which means the communication of the nervous system isn't there. So we're increasing neural communication by stimulating the joint. Now check this out. Don't let me push straight out again. Do you feel stronger? Wow. Heck yeah, girl. Woo. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come down on the costochondral joint. It's where the rib cartilage and bone meets. And yes, I do say this about 15 times every day. Beautiful. And then last but not least is that shoulder joint itself. I'm just gonna pull you out right there. And then we'll be right over that. Good. Whoa. Okay, don't let me push down towards your feet. Wow. Good, but there's a little bit still in there. So I'm actually gonna bend the elbow. Did you feel it shaking just slightly? Yeah. So I'm gonna roll you over just a bit. Okay. And I'm gonna have you stick your elbow right there. I'm gonna grab your armpit slightly. Deep breath for me. Relax this shoulder all the way out. Oh. There it is. Oh yeah. Now don't let me push down towards your feet. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. That's the strength we wanna see. Okie dokie. So last but not least, I'll just get some feet from right here. We'll just check them and get them all going. Pulling toes. Toes feel good. A little bit on this side. Heels feel really nice actually. Surprising because she wore heels recently. <laughs> good. Maybe it, like, it was just my there you go. movement. Okay, good. Okay, Sarah, come on up, girl. All right. Come on over here. Just give us a little walk around the room. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah? <laughs> wow. Oh my God, I can pick you my feet up. these up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, I'm like, wait. Okay, go ahead and twist to the left too. Oh, Try that out. Yeah. Look at you, she's moving and grooving, guys. <laughs> okay, yes, Sarah, oh, I'm what, so happy for you. Oh yeah. Hey! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> So y'all, don't forget to check out Sarah Tonin. Sarah Tonin's <laughs> her DJ name. And check out her real estate page too. We'll catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.